Hello, my name is Kastutis and today we will learn how to use the backup system in HPanel. Most of us have definitely been in a situation where we ended up not liking the changes that were made to our website. Sometimes installing a new plugin breaks your website, or you accidentally delete an important file. Whatever happens, reverting your website to an earlier state is definitely useful, and this is where the backup system comes into play. Let's start by navigating to your backups tab in each panel. You can reach it in just a couple of clicks from your hosting management page. The backups tab has four basic sections. Restore everything. This feature is coming soon, and as the name suggests, it will help you restore your website's files and the corresponding databases in a single click. Files backups and database backups. These are the features which we will be using to restore your website to an earlier version. You are also able to simply download your website's files and databases to your computer. Generate new backup. This feature is super handy if you're making some drastic changes to your website's configuration. If anything goes wrong, you can simply go back to your save point. An important detail to note here is that backups can be generated every 24 hours. Typically, backups are generated automatically on a weekly basis. Hostinger also offers a daily backup option, which generates a backup every 24 hours, and as such, you will not be able to generate a backup manually. To restore your website's files, we will of course be using the Files Backup section. Once you have it selected, a drop-down menu appears where you can choose the date of the backup that you would like to access. Afterwards, once you have decided on the date, you can click Next Step so that your backup's contents are displayed. This is super handy in situations where you have multiple websites and you would like to restore only one of them. You can also use this feature to restore specific files too. Alternatively, you can choose the Download All Files option. This will generate a link which you can use to download an archived copy of your backups. And that's all it takes to restore your website's files. Most websites also use the database to function, so let's move on over to the database backup section. Here, the drop-down menu is a bit different. Instead of the backup date, you are able to select a specific database you would like to restore or download. Once you have selected your desired database, clicking on Show Databases will bring up all the save points that you have for it. Then, in a similar fashion to your website's files backups, you have two options, Restore and Download. Finally, to generate a new backup of your hosting, simply select the Generate New Backup option. If there has been more than 24 hours since your last backup was generated, making a new one will take just a few clicks. And that's all there is to it. Let me know if you found this video helpful by clicking the like button. Leave a comment if you'd like me to cover some other web hosting related topic in a future video. Of course, stay subscribed to see that video as soon as it goes up. Until then, best of luck in your online journey.